respected teachers scholars and students from various institutions and from various parts of the country a warm welcome to all of you pg department of english vaitulisa arts and science college narikuni calicut affiliated to university of calicut has been arranging international and national webinars seminars and innovative talks for motivating ug and pg students of english language and literature from various institutions today we have with us dr febida ibrahim head of the department of english and iqsc coordinator kas srinarayana college volangeri malappuram district dr febida has completed her graduation from university of calicut and after she has qualified pg mphil and phd from bardiyar university coimbatore as a scholar she has published a number of papers and articles in various publications she has attended various national and international seminars dr febida has completed her phd from bardiyar university coimbatore and her topic was portrayal of feminine psyche in the sacred works of rk narayan and anita deshai with happiness i wish to welcome dr febida ibrahim to baitulisa arts and science college narikuni and let me invite dr febida to present her paper thank you Good evening one and all before going to start the session let me introduce myself I'm Dr Fabida Ibrahim working as the head of our department of English Kasri Narayana College Valancheri uh, first of all let me thank to Dr CK Ahmed sir for giving this opportunity to deliver a lecture on topic women empowerment issues and challenges Uh, as you all know the empowerment of women is crucial for the development of the country and the bringing uh, women into the mainstream society is a major challenge for uh, achieving national development so uh, the subject of uh, empowerment of women has becoming a burning issue all over the world uh, inequalities between men and women and discrimination against women have always been age old issues all over the world this women's quest for equality with men is a universal phenomenon uh, uh, so i'm really happy to take this session on very important and relevant topic of uh, women empowerment so it involves the challenges like empowering women educationally socially intellectually economically and women empowerment helps women to understand Uh, understand her potential and power thereby utilizing their tremendous potential and encouraging them to attain a dignified and satisfying way of life as we all know most of women are engaged in various activities activities which are neither productive nor monetarily rewarding everyone must understand the fact that empowering women doesn't mean making them as uh, you know economically independent women should understand that they are also rational intelligent and thinking human beings and they are forced to live without dignity as due to the preconceived notion of son preference attitude so the reason behind this is apparently clear in the society's cultural moorings is very strong the abuse against women takes in various forms like uh, you know physical mental emotional and economic levels or for the sake of uh, the family and society women uh, um, um most commonly women sacrifice a lot and tolerate a lot of uh, mental physical and emotional stress uh, if a woman lives in a, a problematic domestic environment uh, she will hesitate to come out of her married life in spite of her striving for economic independence 
so they have to awake from this everlasting slavery and understand the real necessity of empowerment so this uh, it's a responsibility of women to uplift uh, their subjugated position from the uh, from our society and uh, so gender violence is one of the most uh, pervasive human rights violations like uh, denying women and girls equality security dignity and self worth and your right to enjoy fundamental freedoms so the violence against women is getting worse than ever in every country cutting across the boundaries of culture class education uh, income and age so violence against women continues as a uh, you know a, as a global epidemic uh, that subjugates tortures and uh, physically ta- tortures our women physically psychologically sexually and economically so there are many hindrances to women to attain empowerment main problems that were faced by women in our past days and still today are gender discrimination lack of education female infanticide uh, financial constraints family responsibility low mobility low ability to bear risk low need of uh, sorry low need for uh, achievement and absence of ambition for a career life social status dowry marriage atrocities on women uh, and they were raped killed subdued and humiliated uh, continuously so uh, the empowerment of women need of each and every hours and women are deprived of uh, decision making uh, power restriction to attain education hindrances for employment and uh, lack of exposure to the mainstream society and media and uh, domestic violence so uh, we can assure that gender inequality and discrimination are root cause of violence against women. Women. There are various factors perpetrated violence against women in our society. Let me explain it in a concise way. The important cultural factors are gender-specific socialization, cultural definitions of appropriate sex roles, expectations of roles within relationships, belief in the inherent superiority of males, values that give men proprietary rights over women and girls, notions of the family as a private sphere and under male control, uh, customs of marriage and acceptability of violence as a means to resolve conflicts. So there are uh, many economic factors that are also responsible for domestic violence of against women the most important one is women's economic dependence on men limited access so for in, uh, earning or income discriminatory laws regarding inheritance property rights uh, then uh, limited access to employment in formal and informal sectors and uh, limited access to education and training for women uh, there are also some legal factors uh, that are responsible for the subjugated status of women in our society uh, low legal status of women uh, laws regarding divorce child custody maintenance and inheritance legal definitions of rape and domestic abuse low levels of uh, legal literacy among women uh then insensitive treatment of women and girls by police and judiciary uh there are uh, some political factors that are also responsible like uh, uh under representation of women in power politics the media and in the legal and medical pr- professions domestic violence not taken seriously uh then limited organization of women as a political force and to limited participation of women in organized political system so uh these are some notable factors that uh, that are uh, responsible for the subjugated status of women um so we uh, we have to understand that it is the responsibility of a woman to redefine this uh, uh, subjugated uh, uh, you know the suppressed status of uh, women in our society they have to redefine this and they have uh, come forward to take challenges uh, whatever um, Uh, whatever uh, they will get uh, in the form of opportunities so 
next uh, let's make some contrast between subjugated women and uh, empowered women so actually this uh, um, this comparison uh, the comparison of these two types of uh, women uh, definitely it will provide a better understanding and giving an awareness for empowerment let us take the first type of women subjugated women subjugated women's values are essentially defined by men's values and the behavior of subjugated women is always determined by the traditional male hierarchy and male authority um, uh, structures and the power resources of male restricted and control uh, the life of subjugated women when subjugated women uh, rejected any values and norms of male dominated society surely they will morally emotionally mentally and physically tormented and severely abused so these women find it very difficult to alter their uh, functions you know uh, in a, in the traditional male hierarchical society so what were the context of their families religion or any working atmosphere subjugated women are expected to maintain their subordinate roles and to stay within those uh, those of uh, expectations you know these male dominated uh, society pressures and restricted uh, uh, and also confined the life and chances of uh, subjugated women and their choices their opportunities are already predetermined in a highly rigid and uh, confined framework so actually their life uh, confined and restricted in the four walls of the house and uh, their visions are limited goals cannot go beyond maintaining family relationship and well-being of family so uh, here they have to fulfill responsibilities for others not for themselves their world is far removed from public world of uh, uh, men and also their work generally consists of doing some unpaid domestic chores in the home setting while empowered women empowered women uh, define their uh, sorry uh, define their attitude values and behavior in their own interest uh, they are the decision makers of their life they have autonomy you know uh, they have uh, they have power in their own life because they are cla- they have claim uh, they have claimed their freedom from male hierarchy in any context and these women attain uh, equality and recognition in in, in their round life in fact uh, empowered women do not aim at being superior to men they uphold equality in order to find harmony in their life so this is what most important they they use their talents to survive the submissive status and maintain their strength to uphold uphold their values and individualities so uh, it is the responsibility of women to eradicate the violence say against women by understanding their prominent role in these human rights issues uh, women have to learn to be assertive and ready to accept uh, new roles and challenges for themselves uh, they have to develop an optimistic hope and hopeful approach to life they need to be empowered to education employment opportunities legal literacy and right to inheritance so i highly recommend to give human right education uh, in, and uh, informations regarding violence moreover convince the prime importance of uh, uh, education as the best and unique tool to solve all problems faced by women uh, women should understand and question the uh, evil practices of our society uh they should acquire the power to define their own life and to face uh, and to challenge what are problems or powers make them inactive and powerless so this is all about this session uh, i have uh, i have uh, gone through the topics uh, related the factors issues and challenges of women empowerment and also factors how to overcome the everlasting problem of uh, subjugated status of our women in our society so thank you thank you so much